Much of basketball is an all-year thing now. When practice starts, does it feel like as big of a deal as it, is it used to, or do you feel like you've been doing this for forever anyway? Nah, like, I remember growing up, the first practice of the year, you look forward to it, and right. that's exactly how this felt yesterday. And so, like, the first practice, it lived up to its hype. Like, it was that fun. And so, same with today, and it's just got to keep enjoying it, just like I've always done my whole life. Okay. Where are you at with the progression of your game? Uh, this year versus another year ago and two years ago. I mean, uh, now that I'm a junior, I mean, it's just I'm I'm the, one of the older players now. It's uh, time for me to work hard. It's time for me to help everybody else on the team, and uh, it's time to show them the ropes, show them what made us successful in the past, and continuing that on. It's been six months since the tournament. How have you seen Xavier maybe change or grow since uh, the tournament? Well, the thing about X, it's like he's always he's always been this passionate guy who's always led by example, who's always been vocal and showing passion and energy. And now it's sort of like he's he's in the role where he's been here the longest and now it's like it's it's more it's sort of coming out of him even more now because we need that from him because he knows he's been through it all, so how have you been, or what are your thoughts been about the newcomers, the freshmen and David, and just kind of how they've transitioned so far? They're doing really well. I mean, really, really well. I mean, you know, like, coming here right away, it's hard. It's always going to be an adjustment. And each one of them has done their own thing to help them adjust. And uh, it's hard. They're going to keep – they're going to make mistakes. They're going to have to learn. But they're all learning, and they're all, they're all coming along really well. Have you seen David – is David, like, at all – more ahead of the other guys since he was at a little bit higher level with junior college, or is he kind of on the same page with them because of the the transition to this level? Um, I don't I don't really know how to describe it. It's sort of like because junior college is different, so I feel like there's sort of high school habits and junior college habits. And I've played with a bunch of junior college players to know that they have different habits, but each one of them they're they just they're just breaking their habits because regardless of where they came from, it's it wasn't like here, so. Each one of them is doing a great job. David's doing a phenomenal job of learning, taking everything in, and uh, being coachable. If you had to pick like one broad phase of the game that you think, man, this team could be better than last year's team at, like what comes to mind for you that you think there's a chance to be better at than a year ago? I think um, pace, sort of. I think we have the, the athleticism, the speed to really get up the court this year. And um, like, I mean, it's going to be hard to hard to sort of repeat what we did on defense. I feel like I most 100% feel like we can, but um I think we're going to get up the court a little fat or a lot faster this year, so that might not lead to they will lead to more possessions for the other team too, but I feel like our defensive efficiency could be just as good if not better and and we're going to get up the court more. You mentioned you're trying to show some of those younger guys what made this program successful. What are the main messages you main things you're you're telling them right now? Um just like we got a shirt um I think it was this summer. It's called a culture culture of effort, and that's what our culture is of being the, the toughest team, the hardest working team. I mean, we do things that they're not fun, and they don't really translate directly to basketball skills. But it teaches you toughness. It teaches you how to work hard, how to push through pain and fatigue and stuff. And that's what we're about. That's what we've always been about, and that's what they're learning too. Because I mean, we just got done with conditioning. It was a long summer, morning weights, afternoon workouts, so that's what they're learning. What did that light bulb for you that turn on that showed you that that culture works, that it translates to success? Um, well, I'd probably have to say freshman year when we made it to the tournament and we started winning because um, we, weren't, we weren't winning. First of all, we didn't, we didn't get to where we were because of out having more talent than other teams and being just like cooler making the flashier plays we got there because of toughness and it was defense from the get-go that's what got us to the tournament my freshman year and that's what made us advance in the tournament and uh defense is toughness it's discipline it's uh being strong it's being mentally tough enough to last the whole 30 seconds of the shot clock so yeah that's what for you personally, um, you know, off season, you know, weight work and that kind of stuff. Like, what numbers are you most proud of? Whether it's a personal best and a lift or that kind of stuff. What did you do this off season that you're really proud of? Actually, this off season, I sort of I changed my diet because I felt like I was too heavy last year. So, 
I played at 200 pounds last year and uh, I went pescatarian and I don't eat bread or dairy. So that's sort of been my diet change and it's helped me lose about 12 pounds since last year. Now my conditioning and whatnot has gone to another level and the way I feel and I think that's really helped me. Like when we were in Kansas City at the Kansas City Catbackers, you were mentioning a group text with, with X-Man when he was making the decision as to whether or not to go to the pro or the <laughs> yeah. Looking back on, on that group text, was there any, any part of you that wondered if he was going to pull the trigger and go? I mean, yeah, definitely curiosity, definitely like um, just a, an excitement for whatever decision he made because, I mean, more than anything, I care about him as a person and I care about his career. And I knew that he was going to make the right choice. And whichever choice he made it, I was going to stick by him. I was going to be excited for him. I mean, it's either he went to the NBA or he came and played another year with me. Like, I was going to be happy regardless. So uh, when he decided that to come back, I was, of course, ecstatic. But regardless of what he did, I would have been happy. Is that something where you're a little bit in his ear about, hey, man, be nice to have you come back? Or do you try to completely just, you know, kind of leave him be to let him make the choice on his own, like with his family? Yeah, it's 100 it's percent his choice. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't there with him growing up when he was growing up as a basketball player. His family was, and he's chasing his dreams and his goals. And uh, all I, I came here and I met him, and he's became one of my brothers. And it's like, look, you got to do what you got to do. You got to go where your heart desires, where your family, like where you and your family want you to go. So it was, it was really whatever. You've played a lot of different spots, you know, one, two, three, like all across there. Well, how would you define yourself if you had to name a spot? What would you say? What would you say you were? Uh, I don't. I don't. Well, I want to say I have a spot. I just say I'm. I just fit in where I need to be. I mean, I feel like I could. I've I've played one through five since I've been here. I mean, if you look back at Kentucky right. at the end of the game, <laughs> I was the five guarding PJ Washington. So, uh, so really, I've. But I'm not a five. But uh, I feel like I'm. I'm really could just fit in wherever. Wherever they need me to, I mean, wherever I'm needed, I could fit in for that role and help the team win at that spot. You get a tip dunk this year. Are you pulling out the shoulder shrug again, or do you got something else for us? Nah, that, I'm going to have to retire that. It might <laughs> it might come out one time or two just because, you know, the emotions of the game, I, I get hyped up, it might happen. But I'm, I'm trying to keep that into sophomore year. <laughs> With the three-point line moving back, will that change anything, or have you noticed that at all? Um, we, I mean, we've been talking about it. Uh, Coach said he noticed uh, the change this summer, just that one foot. Um, he said it. He noticed it with USA with the three-point percentage dropping greatly, but also the space and the gaps. But I mean, I mean, we're known for a defense that's known for plugging gaps, and that's going to bring more space into the floor. But um, we're still going to do what we do, shoot the shots that we shoot. So we'll just have to see how it changes this year.